So I have this like six foot pole and I start moving it because my dad's like, you need to move it out into the driveway and then take your shovel, scoop it up and put it in a trash bag. Simple, right? Do it now. You know who you are. You feel it in your heart and you're burning with ambition. But first, wait, won't get it on a plate. You're gonna have to work for it harder and harder. One of my vlogs, I did a whole thing about starting an herb garden um, out there, right there on my patio, um, herbs, veggies, all of that. And I planted everything and the first round did not take, they didn't do very well. I, I'm i just, I don't have a green thumb. I think that's the main reason, but I also ended up being gone for like two weeks straight um, right after I did it. So I blamed it on that tried it again, went out, bought more veggies, herbs, all the different kinds of seeds, and it's still not doing good. <laughs> I'm so upset. So I am going to try it one more time. If it doesn't work after this third time, I'm just going to give up. But I'm hoping that this time it works because um, I'm going to buy bigger planters um, or the pots to put them in. I'm going to get bigger ones. I don't know if maybe that's the reason or what. I also don't know if it's not getting enough sunlight right there, but I don't really want to move stuff around. But I don't know, maybe if I move it into the sunlight once a week or something. But let me show you guys how bad it is. Okay, so the only thing that has really made it is my aloe. I bought it already grown like that. I have jalapenos that are doing okay. Peppers. I have some basil. And what is that? Oh, asparagus. And then my peas were doing good until recently. Those were doing it really well. So I don't know. But everything else is just not growing. So the red, the green and the red um, pots, I think I'm gonna try to do all that size. So we will see. So I'm at Home Depot. I came to get some planters and seeds and potting soil for once again, the third time. And I am gonna put on my mask because it's required everywhere um, here in the county I live in, although I don't know, it might be required everywhere right now. Um, but also, um, and I don't know if I'll have shown it yet in this vlog or if it's gonna be coming up next, but I had a snake in my garage yesterday. And so I am um, getting more sticky pads to put down to catch them. So fun times. <laughs> successful trip they didn't have many herbs they didn't have the glue traps that I like and they only had two of the planters but they did have soil specifically for herbs and um, vegetables which I've never seen before so thankfully um, Lowe's is right down the street so I'm gonna go there and hopefully get the rest of the stuff okay so I am I am out in my garage looking for snakes yeah why? Because yesterday there was a snake in my garage. Now, it was a little snake, although I don't care if it's a big worm, I don't like them. And it was the worst experience I've had since living here. It was absolutely awful, although I know I'm being a big baby, but I have to tell you guys all about what happened yesterday. I don't know if you guys can see or hear, but it is pouring down the rain right now. So yay. But okay, so my snake story. Um, before I started, I just want to say 
um, this story does not end well for the snake. So if you are a huge, huge animal rights person, um, or you don't like some bit of a gory detail, you may not want to finish watching this. Now, for the record, I am not someone who wants to ever torture animals. I'm an animal rights person. I mean, I'm not a vegetarian or anything, but I just wanted to give a heads up that again, it the story does not end well for the snake. So um, when my parents were in town, I actually had my first ever snake on my front patio. It was awful. I hated it. Now it's a small sta snake, but thankfully my dad was here to take care of it. And ever since then, it's all I can think about is how there was a snake really close to my front door. So um, while they were here, also we put these sticky pads down that you get to catch like mice and all that stuff. And we put them in the front of my garage by where the garage door opens. I forget what even made us do that. But since then I've had to change it out like three times I think because what I thought were big geckos were getting stuck on there. So I've changed it out a couple times. I also realized that um, it wasn't even when my garage was open, you know, if I was grilling, it was when my garage was closed that these things were coming in because there's a little gap. So I always put the sticky pad there. When I get home from a trip, I kind of always check to see if anything new is there, which I did yesterday. And so there was a big black gecko, or so I thought, a baby frog, a huge spider, and a snake, a snake. All of it wasn't even on the sticky pad. Oh my gosh, it was so awful. So there is a snake on it and I, I was so freaked out because having it out front on my patio was bad enough, but now it's like in my garage. So um, I had FaceTime my dad to tell him about it and he's like, well, what are you gonna do? And my plan was my brother-in-law and sister and Cora are coming down in a couple weeks. I'm just gonna keep it till they get there and Glenn can take care of it. <laughs> Sorry, Glenn. But my dad's like, no, he's like, you have to, you have to take care of it now. Your whole garage is going to stink up. You don't want it attracting other animals. So I went out there and completely freaked out. So um, at my old apartment, I had this thing that it was like over six feet tall. It's a big pole that you can actually attach a rolling paintbrush to like paint high ceilings or whatever. My dad had actually put it together for me so that um, I could hang bird feeders and stuff way up high in a tree because it extends well we kept it and obviously I'm not going to bend down and touch the stupid sticky pad so I have this like six foot pole and I start moving it because my dad's like you need to move it out into the driveway and then take your shovel scoop it up and put it in a trash bag simple right um so I start moving it and I realize the snake is still alive it starts slithering now it was still on the sticky pad. It didn't get off the sticky pad, but it was moving and it was actively moving. I mean, we're not just talking, whatever. And oh my gosh. So at this point I'm pretty much almost in tears and I, I, I'm freaking out. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to pick it up. But my dad said, you know, I, I can't let the snake, I can't put the snake in the um, trash bag still alive because it could detach. It could get out all that stuff. Um, Plus to kind of put it out of its misery too. I mean, whatever. So he told me to get my shovel and um, this is where it gets a little gory uh, to chop its head off. So I just, I couldn't do it. And it's not even because I felt bad about the snake. It's because I just couldn't bring myself to get that close to it and do it. Um, I was freaked out. So I ended up standing on a step stool because I didn't want to be on the ground to where I was afraid it could like get loose and attack me. I had black latex gloves on and I had my shovel and I'm sitting there talking to my dad on the phone, like almost in tears, like I can't do it. And he was cracking up because he was saying, man, I wish my dad were alive to see this because he would be cracking up, which is so true. My papa, he died years ago, but he, he would have been making so much fun of me and I, I wish he could have seen it. Um, so I finally, after about, I mean, truly 15 minutes of me not able to do it, I finally did and took care of it. Um, it was awful, but while I was, you know, 
doing all this, a woman walked by with her dog and was like, what's going on? You know, was asking. And she told me what I thought was the geckos is actually a salamander, I think. And it's part of the lizard family. So I don't know why there is an amphibian petting zoo in my garage, but it's awful. So I took care of the snake. There's no new snakes, nothing new right now. And when my brother-in-law is in town, he's going to try to fill up that little space where they're getting in. But it, it was it was awful and I will post a picture here. I'm not going to post an after picture, but I am going to post a picture before with all the animals on it. So if you don't want to see it, don't look, but I will post it right now, right here. So yes, awful experience. I hope I never have to do it again, but oh my gosh, I hated it. Hey guys, today is Thursday, July 23rd. I am getting ready to go get my hair cut. I am so excited. Um, definitely way overdue. I'm not doing anything drastic, just getting it trimmed up a couple inches, but still I cannot wait for it to be cut and just the heaviness of it off my shoulders. So that's what I'm doing now. I <laughs> I ended up buying, going to Lowe's yesterday um, to look for more potted plants and stuff and um, they really didn't have any either. The ones I got were actually way too big, so I'm going to return those. So now it's kind of like a half done project my third herb garden so I don't know I'm gonna do what I can with it with what I have and then probably just sort of as I go add to it because I'm kind of over it um and as far as the boy um we may be going out tonight we may not um he ended up having a really 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 busy work week um with just different commitments that he couldn't get out of so it's kind of up in the air if we'll get to see each other this week and um then he actually has three small children and he gets them starting tomorrow. So I'm not sure when we'll get to see each other again if it doesn't work out this week, but whatever, we've been talking and getting to know each other and having fun. I am still going through other profiles on the dating site. I will say everything that I mentioned in my last vlog um, about the creepies that I got matched with, I haven't had any of those. so. Yay. Um, but things are going good. So I'm going to go get my hair cut and then um, maybe run a couple errands and do some laundry and just get stuff done because a week from Saturday, um, I'm sorry, a week from Sunday is when Tiffany, Glenn, and Cora finally get here. So I want to try to have as much done as I can for that. So I will see you guys later. showed me on Amazon where I could get a, um, this is solar activated repellent for snakes. And there are four of them and you put them outside <clears throat> and there's, oh, see, talking about snakes, I get all creeped out. Um, <clears throat> and they're supposed to repel snakes. And, um, it, I guess it had like five stars. So that and then I got a new cell phone case just because I needed one. Mine was getting kind of bad. I like having the um, the black edge because the one I have now is clear and with my makeup, it get, it looks dirty. So I'm excited about this. I've been really, it looked more green on line, like a um, midnight green is what it was called. I don't really think this looks as green 
in person. It has more of a blue tint, but I've been really into the green color lately. And then I also got this, a grabber, um, which would be great for when there's another snake, which there better not be, but I can bend down and grab that. Plus my, um, my cabinets go really, really, really high. So if I need to get something. So yeah, that was a fun little Amazon haul and I'm excited. <laughs>I just checked the sticky pad again and so far there have not been any more amphibians on there so I am very happy about that maybe I made an example out of the snake <laughs> oh I hope but I just put down the solar um repellent things and they make this buzzing sound now I put one in the backyard over there okay it's backwards there we go right about there outside and it's not making that sound but the three I put up front are, so I don't know if I need to space them out more or what, but hopefully they quit buzzing and I can keep them out. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.